Hello? Hello, Ben. How are you anyway? Get the... I will come okay. straight out with it. Right. I am still in prison after my outburst during your press conference the other day. Right. Those bastards thought it would be okay to lock me up. Rules are rules. So let's talk about the bail fee. I noticed like you had not completely spent the budget no. you were given for transfers and was Such wondering a... if you would pay for me to get out. You know, oh. as a friend, ally, lover, what do you say? Nope. Right then, folks. Welcome back to another episode of Parma Drama, Part Sixty Two. We are we are flying through these, aren't we? Like at a rate of knots. I don't, I don't know about you, but I've never done a knot quickly, so don't understand that phrase. Uh, but today we have the Champions League group stage draw, and uh, we are a second seed in the pot. Now, our Champions League form hasn't been the greatest over the last few years. We've done okay. Uh, we've got through the groups on both occasions, but we've never progressed further. And obviously, after winning the league last year, we are the best team in Italy, apart from the coefficient saying that Juve are. So. Work to do is what I'm getting at. Work to do. Anyway, let's flick through then and see who we get. It's always an exciting time doing the Champions League draw. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty routine. Now, we can get put in any of these uh, apart from the one in Juventus. Uh, so, we can't do the, that group draw. Sorry, what did you just say? In Juventus. Uh, so, we can't do the, that group draw. That, that's not... That doesn't make any sense. Ooh, PSG. PSG. All right. Well, let's skip to the next bit. Uh, so, we can get Monaco, Lille, Sporting... Galatasaray or Wolfsburg? Well, you, you surely want Wolfsburg or Sporting would be the best fit. Oh, Sporting. They were the, they were like the lowest coefficient left in it. So I guess we'll take that. Uh, flick through to the next bit. Uh, in this one, Copenhagen, Anderlecht, Gothenburg, 20, and FJK. Uh, oh, HJK. How j -nuin. I don't know. I don't know what H... What does HJK stand for? Will we ever find out? Okay, they're in Helsinki. So I think that H stands for Helsinki. If you're from uh, if you're from Finland, then do let me know what HJK stands for. Thanks. <laughs> so that's the group then. Uh, PSG, Parma, Sporting, and HJK. Uh, United have gone with Roma, which is interesting. Lee's back in the Champions League. Outrageous scenes with Atletico and Schalke, uh, Barcelona and Leverkusen, Juve, Chelsea, and Lille. Tough group. Monaco, Napoli, by another tough one. Shakhtar, Galatasaray, and Real Madrid. That'd be interesting. And Liverpool, Porto, uh, Wolfsburg, and Anderlecht. Also quite interesting. Some interesting groups really. It's, it feels like some of the bigger names aren't in this. I don't know, there's no City, there's no Arsenal. Feels a bit strange, because obviously you've got the likes of Liverpool and, uh, and Leeds in there, who aren't there week, season after season, usually in the Premier League. So, interesting. Anyway, uh, today's objective for the game is to play our first couple of league fixtures against Sampdoria and Napoli, because uh, the next game will be a Champions League, and we'll do the next episode as sort of a three-game Champions League special or something like that. So, let's get into the first game then, and uh, find out the tactic we intend to play, and here it is. Uh, it's quite familiar, you probably recognise it. No in goal, uh, due to the fact that uh, Teti is out injured. Actually, I should, I should be probably playing Marcelo Ramirez on that right side. We will do that. Yes, uh, the bench is stacked full of attacking talent as well as some defensive minds as well. Monier, you should be playing also. It's like I've not planned. Uh, Rubio, Derulo, Teco, Domingo and Borba in front. Now, Borba, big season. Uh, Lucas is getting on a little bit. We're going to need a replacement. And physically, Borba is a... He's a giant amongst defensive midfielders. Uh, you can see there in the, in the technicals as well. Decent tackling, decent parking, at, um, parking, decent parking. If you want, very good parking. Uh, you can do reverse turns. You can do three point turns. You can put the car wherever you want it to go. He's good like that. But no, uh, marking and passing, both pretty good. Heading, not too bad. Uh, good determination. Decision making is good. Composure is good for a young age. Uh, anticipation, positioning, work rate. All the things you need in a defensive midfielder, uh, he will probably be able to do. Can play as an anchor man as well. So if you ever switch to a four, you could potentially put him in there to slot in nicely. Can Dogby are ahead of those two. Oscar in the middle. Uh, Martinez on the left. Ramirez on the right. And Monier back up front. Uh, another loan spell for him. And now we're expecting big things. Alberto Sully is out injured, but not for too long. Uh, only four weeks. I say not for too long. I'm comparing him to Robert, who is still out for five months. Anyway, first game of the episode then. First game of the season. Let, well, we, I know we had that game against Juve, but we're not counting that. Uh, first game of the league season. Let's get straight into it. So then they're going with a 4-5-1 formation. If you're excited to see the season start again, drop a like on the video before we even begin. Uh, and let's see how we get on then. It's a big game. It's a crunch game. It's one you want to win. Our early season form isn't always the best. So uh, let's start with some good form, some good results, and some happy memories. So it's going to be interesting to see how the new boys fit into the system. Like, although borba has been with me a while, he hasn't featured in the first team all that much. You can see him doing a bit of a clear-up job there. Already got a booking after six minutes, though, which isn't an ideal situation. Um, 
hopefully though we can we can come out on top our squad is, is getting better i feel year on year it's a shame that we haven't got players like robert for this game uh but i still think with money air and the men around him we've certainly got a chance to again not not only defending our title but winning it at a canter and obviously the champions league is our second goal uh martinez through already side netting but good early signs Right, another chance for us. Coming forward, Oscar on it. Domingo, it's quite interesting, really, because they're playing one up top. It's it's just a defence-free attack. My attack versus their defence, and we, we're quite slow to build up because we have quite a few defensive players. Uh, so it's going to be about the movement of our forward players to see if we can jink around and get something there. Monnier, oh, he's back, and I love him. Someone play the Marseillaise. Well, no, okay, not not again, maybe at the end of the year. So I think I think Monnier got 23 last season, and this season hopefully he can beat it. I've only had one striker ever get to the Magic 50, uh, and that was Pixie in the Swindon lot. So if we can get Monnier even close to it, that would be pretty fantastic. Uh, you can see here, good touch with his right foot, fired home with his left, 1-0 Palmer. Right, it's all quite routine at half time. It is 1 0 to the Palmer. It's all quite, you know, it's compared to recent episodes, it's all quite mellow. It's, it's nice to get back to sort of playing the game, having matches which sort of build up to the end of the season when all sorts of mad shit can happen, basically. They've got a chance. Teco, though, that's a great. I tell you what, that's what you're signing for. Those sort of decision making, those bits of decision making, coming out, winning the ball with ease. And now, yeah, a little bit isolated, but Ramirez is there with him on this right side. Back in, Oscar with the goal, filling the void left by Robert. Can Oscar build it? No, but he can win some awards or something. That's not as good. We'll get there. So you can see here, Ramirez with his red boots on the right hand side, plays it in, and Oscar on the volley, near post, 2 0. Coming forward again, Domingo's been tackled. Uh, Perisic is, I'm going to bring it out. It's a hopeful ball. Dogby does want to clean it up, but they come forward again. Uh, and the ball through to Boney, who's in a bit of space. And Boney should have scored that. Poor from him. Okay, we're pressing again. Monier, edge of the box. Plays it through to Ramirez. Can he slide it back into the middle? Oh, he's gone for goal. Saved by the goalkeeper. And it's cleared. Keeping a clean sheet. 70 minutes gone. Uh, let's make a couple of changes. Although I think things are going on. We're going to bring Minotti in for Kondogbia. Uh, we'll put Norman out on the left-hand side too. A couple of changes. Let's see how we get on. Oh, elsewhere. As I come back from the changes. Monnier through on goal. Over the bar. Uh, time for the subs to come on. All right, let's see how Minotti slots in then. Uh, after his... This is his first game since the uh, since the Spal transfer. Hopefully he can do something magical. Here he is. Minotti, surely not from there. Oh, can you imagine? Borba uh, back into Domingo. Minotti again. Back out to Borba. Lovely working of the triangles. Oscar finds it through. Monnier. That is a beautiful team goal. And that's 3-0. I enjoyed that one. Palmer, turn on the style. I tell you what, this team... Whoa. Here you go again, look. Domingo into Oscar, slides it through to Monnier, who's already on the run, and on the volley, first time, good finish, 3-0, Sampdoria, who have been a problem for us in the recent past, um, no no problem no more. So as this game winds down, it is the perfect start to the season, a 3-0 win against Sampdoria, uh, I've got to be pleased with it, we've, we've dominated the game by and large, uh, and some good performances in there too, a 9.0 rating from Oscar and Monnier, maybe that partnership can uh, flourish uh, while Robert and Seri both out. So, I said last episode, I've not bought in some desperate loans yet. I have now, uh, but they're pretty good. Beckman is the first from Leverkusen. Florian Beckman, uh, 18 heading, 18 marking, 15 passing, 18 tackling. Uh, very quick as well. Anticipation, bravery, determination, decisions, teamwork and work rate. He's got everything I like in the defender. He's a little bit shorter, uh, but very pacey. Uh, so, I want some defensive cover. We haven't got that much of it. And Daniel Sturridge, uh, 31 years of age. Still pretty good. 17 finishing, 14 dribbling, 14 first touch. Can play in a front uh, line for me, no problem at all. Uh, and we're paying him like 20% of of his wages which is a pittance compared to the fact he's on 130k and it's not like he's not been playing for Liverpool he even played for 18 games last season um, so he's been putting in performances and we're going to get him on loan for the season and we're paying 26k uh, in his wages and 125k as a monthly overall contribution which to me at least seems fine hang on no we're not we're paying 13 we've got this is a bargain and um, Beckman's also coming in. So I like that. Two good loan signings. I feel like they're going to strengthen the squad. All right then, folks. Game two. And we're going to stay largely unchanged. Rubio and Teco are going to stay at the back. Neri's going to keep his place in goal until he does something mental. So it could be this, this could be his last game, is what I'm getting at. So let's enjoy it together. Uh, Beckman's going to come straight in as the cover defender. Not exactly got all the fitness in the world, but he's going to play as a cover because of his pace. Uh, I mentioned it before, but 17 acceleration, 15 pace. Uh, it's heading, marking, passing, tackling. Also very good. Uh, so he's in there. Domingo and Borba keep their places. Kondogbia, Oscar, Ramirez, Martinez and Monnier up front so it's pretty much unchanged apart from the uh, the Beckman inclusion so inclusion inclusion brilliant that's a new word uh, so let's see how we get on in this one uh, and then after this episode oh of course the bench Daniel Sturridge 21 Beckman number two lovely 
so Napoli shouldn't be an easy game. Higuain up front, Hamsikin behind, Insigne on the left, uh, on the right, sorry. And yeah, they're, they're the names I recognise. Raphael in goal as well. Anazi as well. So they've got some decent players still, but we're better. I'm going for overconfidence. I've spent so much of this save being like, oh, this is going to be difficult. But now I'm like, no, this is ours. Win it. I now require my team to win it. Otherwise, that does look bad. Ramirez early in the half replacing Gomin oh, Gomez really oh money air slipped it in how has that happened I was just saying Ramirez has really replaced Gomez on that right side but he acts in a very similar way uh, and money air acts in the way he always does scoring goals so there's Ramirez on the right knocks it in money air front post the keeper should probably do better but not bothered Ryder Matos takes on Borba and continues his run and then fires the most feeble attempt I think I've ever seen on goal so we're away from home, and this is the game we usually kind of draw or scrape to a, a disappointing loss. But if we can keep the victory, uh, an early win in the season, away at Napoli, we could do. We could be invincible. That could be the... Oh, imagine if that became, like, the goal. Just be invincible. Oh, my word. I joke about it, but now I'm going to try until that doesn't work. So a good spell of possession, Borba, Kundogbia, giving it through to Oscar, who's in some lovely bit, lovely bit of space there, Oscar's found. Oh, and he's worked an opening for himself, and Raphael's done a, done a Neri, I would say that. He's Neri really saved it. It's another goal, Oscar with it, Kundogbia then, was lovely ball through my eyes. And then Oscar, from distance, it looks a little bit speculative, and, and Raphael's palmed it against the post, and it's gone in. Disappointing goalkeeping, wonderful results. Story of my life. And we're going to make a change, Beckman is struggling a little bit, so we're going to bring on Gabriel Palista, who I think can do a, a relatively similar job. I mean, he's a stall of our side now so we'll pop him in there 2-0 at the half and uh, let's let's continue it on I've never had a Parma drama episode go sort of so smoothly it's this is strange I like it though this can carry on Monnier he's got lots of men ahead of him plays it back to Oscar these two working very nicely together Ramirez on the right hand side back to Borba who's uh, who's doing well already this season Ramirez back to Borba again quickly into Kondogbia who plays it back to Teco we're keeping the ball we're making them work for it Kondogbia heads it down we're waiting for the opening through the ball that is, if that counts, horrible, horrible man. That would have been magnificent, though. The move was sensational. Right, 10 minutes to go. Uh, I'm going to make a couple of changes. We're going to bring on Daniel Storage for his debut. And uh, we're also going to bring on Aramides. So we're going to have to come up with a different name because that's going to be difficult. See, this proves, folks, that you can be on defensive and control games and win games. And there you are. Look, you don't, you don't have to be attacking to win. That's the moral of the story. Are they going to score here? Ball that played in. Rubio with the with the clearance, but they, they've got it still, and I'm a little bit worried that if they score one, we'll panic and it'll be all over. Oscar tries to knock it forward, and Arzi, they've got a little bit of space here. Insignia on this right side, Jorginho, 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 the job he's not in my team. Ball into the middle, cleared, Higuain on it. We're forcing them backwards a lot, like our shape's good, um, but oh, the, the wide ball is now on, that's a shame. The fullbacks have managed to get forward. Insignia, Higuain, oh, Neri. I'm not entirely sure what you've just done. But thank you. And it's cleared. I think Neri's heard me in the press saying that Teddy's the, the for sure starter. Says he was injured at the very start of the season. And, and Neri's gone fine. At the pressure, I like it. Martinez brings it away. And that's that's going to be that. So then, 2-0 to Parma. Two wins in an episode and, and a fantastic Champions League draw. Thank you for watching. This has been good. I've, I've liked this. I don't usually have episodes that are that kind of just, you know, just, just that really. Just, yeah. Well done, everyone. Um, so, yeah, if you've enjoyed today's video and sort of the, the soft nature of it, then do leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. Let's go for... I'm going to set targets from now on. Let's go for 350 likes. Why not? It's a, it's a weekend. Do it. Unless you're watching this in the future, then happy Thursday. Uh, so, from me, Dr. Benji, we love with care. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.